Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff with Max Stadium coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at OwnCloud. And uh, this week we're going to take a look at uh, some of the client uh, software and just uh, see how the syncing uh, features and things like that work. So here I am uh, on a client computer. Uh, I'm logged in with a, uh, with a client that I've got uh, in my open directory. And so I've got uh, all these different settings here, some of the things that we, I showed you last week. We have uh, uh, various files and things that we uploaded uh, sitting right here. So I've put, uh, put those in there. And we've got music, context, calendar, all of those things set up. So the first thing we need to do is if we want to sync these files, I've got to set up the sync client first. And so in order to do that, you want to come over here. Uh, you can get it off online as well. But if you come over here to own cloud and just go to personal, uh, it brings up this screen with a quick link to the desktop app as well as the uh, App Store app for iOS devices. Now the iOS uh, device uh, app costs 99 cents and I'll show you what that looks like to install that. Uh, the desktop app is free. And so you just click on this link here and uh, basically it takes you to a screen that shows you the various clients. There's a Windows, uh, Mac, and a uh, Linux client. And so we're going to use the Mac client and just download it here. And so you can see it started the download process. And so we're going to come in here and double click on it to open it. And so it's going to verify the image. And then as soon as it uh, loads up here, you can see here we have the application. We just drag it into the applications folder here and let that install. And let me just uh, put this down here. And uh, let's go into uh, the actual applications here and find own cloud. You can see it's right here in my applications folder. So I'm going to double click on it to launch it. And uh, let me just put uh, the finder down here. And we're going to say open. And it's going to launch us into the uh, actual wizard to get us started. Let me just uh, put this down in the background here so you can see the uh, sync client. OK. So in here, we're going to put our server's address. And so whatever the address is of your particular server. Um, now, because of the way that we set it up uh, in uh, Mountain Lion Server, you're going to want to put the HTTPS uh, like this. And then you put in your uh, the uh, basically address for your own cloud server. OK, just like that. Going to click Next. And then it's going to come up warning you about the SSL certificate. And this is similar to what we've said before. Because it's a self-signed certificate, uh, it's not sure it can verify who it is. And so all I've got to do is click this Trust the uh, Certificate Anyway button right here. And then I'm just going to click OK uh, to continue. Now it takes you to ask for username and password. And so I'm going to put the username of my client here and the password. Okay, and then once I've got that in there, click Next. It's going to verify the client. And then it asks where you want to sync the files. And so it will automatically uh, set up in users, uh, your username, and then create an own cloud uh, folder right there. If you wanted to move that to a different place, you can do that just by clicking here. Uh, it will, if you click this, uh, it will actually bring up the uh, drop down here for you to choose where you want it uh, to be. I'm going to cancel it because I'm just going to leave it in the default location and click Connect. And so now it's going to do the connect, and now it's connected. Now, the one thing you're looking at is going, where is it? Uh, because it doesn't show on the screen anymore. Well, if you look all the way up here in the top of your toolbar, you now have a toolbar item for own cloud. And you can see it's got a little check mark by it, which means that it's, it's uh, already sync. Uh, it's already sunk all my items. If I just click on it, you see I get this little drop down uh, where I can open own cloud in the browser, which is where we were on the website, or I can open the uh, folder own cloud. It gives me my percent of use. Uh, up to date shows me my recent changes. So these are all of the things that it uh, already uh, has made a sync of to my uh, desktop. And these are all the things that we had on the website. Uh, a settings help and then quit. Now, if you notice, this looks very, very similar to Dropbox and uh, their drop down uh, window. And so I think that's done on purpose just to give you uh, everything to, that's very similar to Dropbox because that's what it is. So let's just open the own cloud uh, folder for a second just so you can see. Uh, it's already uh, right here. It's already sunk these items uh, from the web interface. So if I go, let me just pull own cloud back up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into files uh, just to show you uh, how it does it. And you can see right now that uh, all of these uh, files right here are in sync now with my uh, desktop. And so what's great about this is it keeps all of these things going. Now, if I wanted to, let's go into documents here. 
And I'm going to, uh, let's, go, uh, let's go in here. Let me grab this graphic right here. And I'm just going to drag this into OwnCloud so that it's inside there. And uh, we should see the, uh, there's the graphic right there in OwnCloud. So now it's right here. Now it should uh, upload that and keep that in sync uh, on here. So let me just do a refresh just to see if it's done syncing that file up yet. And yeah, there it is. You can see it's put that file right up there. The one that I just added right here is now up in the cloud on my own cloud uh, uh, install. Okay, so uh, now that you see how the files are uh, all in sync, let's uh, let's take a look now at contacts and calendars. So let me just uh, let me put this down for a minute. Uh, contacts and calendar are the only uh, other two that can integrate with your existing services. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set this up so they'll sync. So you want to go into system preferences. And let me just uh, pop this down so we're just looking at that. You want to go into System Preferences. You go into this Mail Contacts and Calendars. And what we're going to do is add another account to this. So the first thing we're going to do is Contacts. So we'll add a CardDAV uh, account right here. We're going to click Create. And then you put in, again, you put in your username, which I'm going to do here, and then your password. And then here, for the server address, you do the same thing, HTTPS and then you put in your uh, the address of own cloud okay so you put that in there just like that then you click create now it's going to discover the settings for you and there it goes so it's already got it all set up the account is enabled and so you can see we've got the uh, contacts here so let's go into our contacts let's see if it has uh, set that up and it's syncing and as you can see right here, we've got own cloud on the side. Let's click this. And there are all of our contacts in sync. And if I show you, let me go back to the website again. Let's go into contacts and load that up. And I'll show you how it works. So you can see now it has. It's done the sync. You can see I've got four contacts in here. The same four contacts are showing over here. So you can see that's how you set that up. So now we've got our contacts in sync. So as I add a uh, contact over here, so let's just uh, add one here. I'm going to make one up. Let's go, uh, let's go Joey Doe, okay, right here. And I'm, that's all I'm going to do, just say done. Let's just put his name in there. So now we've got him there. Now you can see it's working. Uh, let's go back into uh, own cloud and let's refresh uh, the website here. And let's just see if uh, everything's in sync. And yes, it is. There's Joey Doe right there. So again, now we've been able to test this. We know this works back and forth with the client uh, all the way up to the website. So we're good with that one. Uh, the other thing we need to check out is calendars. Let me just click on calendars for a second. If you remember, I've got a string of events sitting right here. Let's see if we can get those to sync with our calendar app uh, here on my client. So I'm going to put this down. And we're going to do the same thing. You come in again to System Preferences, just to show you. You go back to Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to uh, add, a, add another account here. And this one is going to be a CalDAV account. So we're going to click Create. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. So you put in your credentials and your password. And then we put in the same thing here. OK, so I get my uh, own cloud instance in there. Click Create. It's going to discover these settings. And there it is. It's already set it up and enabled. And so again, let's pull up our calendar and let's check to see if it's adding that. And sure enough, here it is. It's added the information right there. You can see there's my, uh, my own cloud instance. And here are all the events that I've got. And again, comparing it to the uh, web here, you can see there's all of our events. We've got go to store, meeting with Bill, and go to work all lined up right there on my calendar. So, uh, so that's how you set those up so that you can get these services in sync uh, with, uh, you know, with your client devices. Uh, so it's a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, what I also want to cover now that I've shown you how to get those things in sync, and again, like I showed you earlier, when you sync files into your own cloud folder, it will automatically know if it's music or pictures and sort of put them in their spaces here, uh, which, is, which is nice because then you can just drag everything into that folder and it will help sort it for you. Uh, but what I want to do is let's take a closer look at the, uh, up here when I click on the iCloud, uh, iCloud, when I click on the own cloud instance here, let's just look at the settings and see what we can do. Let's click settings. And so this is the settings window. Let me put this down so we're not distracted here. 
Uh, in the settings window, you have your account information. And so again, it's showing you where it's syncing it. Uh, you can add a folder if you want to, to sync other folders. You don't have to just use one like Drop uh, Dropbox. You can add another one. Uh, you can pause the syncing from here if you want to, or you can actually remove this folder and start over. If I click Info uh, on here, what it does is it shows me uh, a detailed sync report of all of the things that were synced, uh, that have sunk to the uh, server. You can see these are all things that were downloaded, right? Those were downloaded into my own cloud folder. And then this was something that I uploaded. And it shows when I uploaded it, and it shows the size of everything. Uh, so it does a really nice job of, uh, of setting that stuff up so you can see actually what's going on to make sure that everything is working fine. Let me just close that. Uh, you also have down here, you uh, have a, a, you know, shows you how many megabytes of your storage space is used so that it gives you an idea of how close you're getting to being full on whatever uh, volume you happen to have the own cloud folder on. Uh, you can also uh, uh, edit the uh, ignored files. Let me just click that. Uh, there are certain files that are automatically ignored. Uh, those are things that you really don't need. And if they create conflicts, they're definitely going to uh, eliminate these different things. You can add other things if you want to onto here. Uh, if you want those things to be ignored. Uh, so far, this is this is probably fine for most people. You don't need to change too much, so let me just cancel that. You can also modify your account if you wanted to, which takes you all the way back here uh, to start all over, uh, which I'm not going to do with the wizard. So let me just pull this back up so we can see the settings. Uh, over here on the side, you've got general information. Uh, again, you can choose to launch on system startup, which I would recommend doing, so that way you don't have to uh, remember to launch um, own cloud every time that you log in. Uh, and also, you can show desktop notifications, so it'll let you know when certain things are happening uh, through notifications. Uh, the other thing you can do, uh, if you have a certain theme up here, you want all of this not to be color, if you just click this Use Monochrome, just like in Dropbox, it'll change it to black and white. Uh, just if you wanted to have everything kind of match across the top. So that's up to you on if, whether you want to do that or not. Uh, then you have uh, the network uh, information here. Now, if for some reason you need to use a proxy um, with your server, which I don't think most of you here with Mac Stadium will really need to do that at all, uh, you could set that information up here. Uh, right now, just clicking Use the System Proxy should be okay. But again, if your clients have to go through a proxy or something like that to get their information, uh, this is where you would set up all the proxy information in here. Uh, you can also limit uh, bandwidth if you wanted to. Uh, if you, you could say no limit, or if you want to limit, if you're moving big files around and maybe you don't want to slow the system down, you can limit both your download and your upload bandwidth right here in the settings area of OwnCloud. So it does give you um, a little bit more fine-tuned control over some of these things uh, through the interface, uh, but that at least gives you an idea of how uh, the client works. So hopefully that uh, shows you how the desktop client works on a Mac. It helps you get everything uh, set up so that your uh, Macs are syncing with your own cloud server. Uh, there's also uh, an iOS uh, version of Sync uh, that we'll take a look at as well. But that's all I have for you this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac in a hosted environment.